Insul 800 High Temp Conduit Joint. Tools you will need. Remove the shipping bars on center pipe. Then weld carrier pipe together. Please note this is already shown as one piece in this video. Grind area where connector bands will be welded. Do not grind the raised factory weld on the 10 gauge conduit away. It could cause the pipe to leak. Wrap joint with supplied insulation and secure insulation to carrier pipe using metal bands. Bend down tabs to secure bands. Trim off excess bands. Tighten down with chain grip or another method to secure two pieces together. Weld the connector band completely where shown for air testing. Take the HDPDE split mold and wrap it around the joint. Secure it to the pipe with duct tape on both ends and in the middle. Be sure the opening is at the 2 o'clock position for proper distribution of foam. You can attach paper or plastic to the pipe to help prevent excess foam cleanup. Mix the foam by using the supplied instruction calculations. Note, a cup means 8 ounces and not a full supplied paper cup. These paper cups are for mixing and pouring purposes only. Home Depot and other hardware stores sell clear plastic cups with accurate measuring lines on them. Add both A and B components together and mix with the drill on high speed until well blended. Hot weather will accelerate the reaction time, while cold weather will slow reaction time. Pour all of the foam through the opening. Foam expanding outside of the jacket is normal. Wait until the foam is hard to the touch before trimming off excess. Once excess foam is trimmed off, remove tape from split mold and clean away any residue. Depending on conditions, it may be necessary to heat the outer jacket and split mold to assure the shrink material adheres properly. Remove the backing from the supplied shrink material. Shrink material should overlap split mold by 4 inches on each end. 
wrap around the pipe, making sure it is centered on the joint. Take the 4 inch wide closure strip and heat the checkered side. Place it downward, overlapping the seam. Heat to secure across the joint, pressing down with a gloved hand as you go. Use a large torch to shrink material down, starting in the middle all around the joint and working outwards towards the joint ends.